प्रॉब्लम इज वैलिड पैलेंट्रॉम वैलिड पैलेंट्रॉम्स सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ पैलेंट्रॉम पैलेंट्रॉम is basically any sequence any sequence that reads the same forward or backward is considered is considered a palindrome is considered a palindrome so for example if we take so the palindrome can be race car okay so if we will see this so this is also same this is also same this is also same and this is the odd length palindrome and palindromes can uh, can just be in alphabets but it can also be in numbers which is 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 one as you can see here also the palindrome here is 1 here is 2 here is 3 and here is 4 so this is even length even length palindrome this is an even length palindrome as there is no so we have all the pairs and there is no one pair left so this is called as even length palindrome and we can how to do this now so let's solve the problem but let's first understand the real life usage of the palindrome first real life example is palindrome codes helps us to detect the errors in the data transmission and storage palindrome sequences comprises data efficiently it is also used in dna sequencing like palindrome sequences identify genes regularity in the elements it, it can also used for the cryptography and security like secure codes so palindrome codes which enhances the encryption and decryption and password security as well because palindrome passwords are harder to crack so that is where all the palindromes are used and there are many many usage of like text processing and music and arts and we if we see it everyday life then license plates because palindromic plate are sort of after for their uniqueness okay phone numbers palindrome phone numbers are easy to remember word games okay palindromes are used in word puzzles crossovers and brain teasers so there are many many advantages and many many use of this valid uh, for this palindrome and our question is to check that whether the given string is valid palindrome or not so the first approach to see this is always a brute force approach and how to do this so if we take one example of this and if we take r e v i v e r so what we will do first we will like we will do the opposite of this so what is the whatever so we will run a loop from the back side and we will do like this r will come here this e will come here this v will come here this i will come here this v will come here this e will come here and this r so we are moving from back to front and we are checking this so definitely uh, we are like crossing over and it will take so this is a small string so that's why it will take less time but if we have a huge length of string like 100 length string or more than that then seriously it is a very very difficult task to just turn it to back to front okay so this is a very tedious task so there can be a better approach for this as well okay so it is time taking and it will take so much time for us to calculate so let's see the optimal approach for this an optimal approach can be what if if we take two pointers which is in the front pointer and the back pointer starting from the array and ending from the array and what if if we check that r is equals to this r if it is not then we will simply come out of the loop and we will say that they are not matching so here in the first itself we can say that 
it is palindrome or not and if they are same then we can check we will we can move our pointer ahead and we can check that whether these two are equal or not and here if we find this two are not equal then we can simply come out and we can say that they are not valid palindrome simply we can move here and here so this is the best way to see that to check that whether this is a valid palindrome or not so let's see the code how we can code this and after that again we can try run so the code for this is and this is the optimal approach and we will also calculate the type and space complexity for this so for this first we will be taking a boolean valid palindrome which is string s int left equals to 0 so left we have assigned to 0 int right it will be from back side so this is s dot length which is minus 1 so from this we will be taking then we will take one while loop which will be left should not cross the right so that's why left when it will be crossing then it will be over then if and if we have to compare the character, so in Java, we always take s dot char at left. So it will take one by one. Okay, the character, it will compare s dot char at right. So this is what the check we are going to apply. After that, we will do left plus plus and we will do right minus minus and we are just going to end the loop so written we are going to write here so else if we don't find it if this condition doesn't match then in else we are just going to written false and after that if we come out of the loop and all the characters have matched so in that case what we have going to do we are going to written true and again we will come out of the loop so let's see okay so this loop will start so this loop is up till here and the main loop is ending here okay so these are the loops and here you can see that the time complexity will definitely will be n because here only one loop is there and which is running from 0 to n so here the time complexity for this code is n here also the time complexity which I have said that we will just do the reverse of the code. Okay, in the brute force approach as I said to reverse the code that also was taking time complexity n. But the problem was when we have so much big string. Okay, where it is very difficult for us to first change it. Okay, or to reverse it. So reversing will take so much of time. So that's why we are keeping two pointers. So reversing the string also will take n time because first we will uh, we will move a pointer. Okay, so it will take n time. So reversing as you said in the brute force. First we will go to the end string uh, or we can directly access the end string. And after that we will apply the reverse for which is int i n minus 1. And here we will reverse. So we will apply a backward for loop okay and we will reverse the string we will reverse the string and after that we will do a check whether it is giving us the correct answer or not but if the string is very huge then it is very very difficult for us to say that whether it is palindrome or not it will eventually give us the answer but after so much long time okay so but in this case in this optimal case we have applied two pointers where what we are going to do we are just going to point it on the first and the end side and we are going to compare it okay so let's take one example so here also the time complexity is n but here we will take the time complexity and the answer will be a little bit fast okay so if we take the example of rotator so first here it is pointing to the left. Here it is pointing to the right. After that 
it will check left is smaller than right yes left and left are equal yes r and r are equal so left plus plus will be there and right plus plus will be there so it will be it will come here left and the right will come here again we will move and we will see that yes they both are equal so again we will move a pointer okay and here it will be f and this will be r now f and r are again equal so again we will move to the pointer f and r here but here this case will not be executed and for this case so whenever why we are making this true because when we will come out of the for loop out of this loop finally when we will come so there is no else here okay there is no else we will directly come out of the for loop and we will say that yes it is returning the answer as true it is not returning so here one else is there and after that we are coming here okay and it will definitely say that yes the answer is true it is not false so when this case will happen okay so this is one example now you can also give the example one example we can take one two one like this so is this a palindrome so now someone will say that no it is not because this is minus and this is one but what if they say that what if they say that you don't have to consider the minus and you have to check whether this is palindrome or not so simply from where do we will start so that we can check so this we have to exclude so we will start our pointer we will take left as one and it will start from here simply and it will check the answer so that is also one of this thing so here we will say that the answer is true or we can reverse also but reversing is not the case but when they say that when they simply say this so this is a false this is false because this is not allowed but when we say that minus sign we don't have to consider okay then in this case the answer is true and this is 10 if we say then directly it is false because this is not the case of palindrome so such questions will be there and after that one more question will be there like this it will be in this format so it is basically double quotes r a c e a car race a car so here also we have to check the palindrome and what is the condition they will say that just remove all the parenthesis so the questions are like this remove all the parenthesis all the alphabets and everything alpha numeric characters and just calculate that whether it is palindrome or not so if you will see here this and this will be equals this and this is equal this and this is equal but this and this is not equal so here definitely this is not a palindrome okay so such questions are also asked and one very famous question is a man and this is with all spaces commas a plane a canal and all this so this is a very famous question and they can ask you whether this is also a palindrome or not and they will give you the condition that you have to remove all the double quotes comma and everything and you have to check whether this is palindrome or not so these are some very very famous patterns which the interviewer can ask and this is simply we are going to skip we are going to make a condition that we will be just keeping these characters other than alphabets okay so that we are going to skip and we will just be checking that whether it is matching character by character and we will put a condition that if a character is other than a to z or double caps a to z then we will reject it okay so i hope you got this thank you so much everyone